Hello everybody. Just booting up the machine for uh, for a little adventure in DOS. And today I'm going to look at uh, the Gopher protocol. That's right. Uh, in DOS, uh, a couple of old DOS programs from the early 90s. And uh, they still work. Um, just to uh, let you know what this machine is, it's a 1997 200 megahertz uh, PC with 256 megabytes of SD RAM in it, and I've created a 32 megabyte RAM drive. The DOS version is DOS 5, and it also has Windows work groups. Uh, um, first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the uh, directory where I have um, where I have the gopher programs and oh and the second thing I must do is load the packet driver and that will do it and now I can I, I, I could load the packet driver on the boot up but since I use Windows for the internet and sometimes there's conflictions when, when I have the packet driver loaded when I go into the Windows shell uh, I just take it put it in or out as I as I need it um, this is it PC Gopher 2 University of Minnesota uh, copyrighted 1991-1992 and just to give the credits where the credits are due about PC Gopher 2 it was designed and written by Daniel A. Torrey it's a gopher client for the PC and here's some beta testers on the, in the little window here and some other credits and Team Gopher and we see, oh, there's Mark McCahill Mark McCahill was actually he's on this list uh, all these guys were involved on in, in developing the, the gopher protocol uh, but Mark or Mark McCahill, uh, one of the big one of the big guys in the names of of the of the, of the team. Um, when I first got on the internet back in 1995, uh, Gopher was already in decline. Gopher started almost concurrently when with the web, uh, and even by 1995. Uh, it was it was becoming a lot less uh, popular as as of course naturally the web with it with its pictures but but still back then uh, Gopher was still vibrant and I used it almost like a secondary uh, FTP uh, because there were a lot of free there was lots of freeware and so forth on it I'm just going to go to the greatest hits most recently I'm actually looking for. Uh, Gopherpedia, which is always good to go to. And uh, while we're waiting for that to respond, um, I can tell you a little bit more about about uh, Gopher. Uh, it, it it's all text, and um, and uh, it there is. Uh, the good thing about it is that um, it's not one of those things where Google and Facebook and and all the rest of the things have sort of taken over it. Uh, there's no adverts. It's 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 kind of a snapshot of the old internet. So I'm glad it's still around, and uh, you'd be surprised at the kind of things you can find. You can find old books and things, uh, in interesting text. Oh yes, here's Mark McCahill that comes in when I, uh, yeah, because I, uh, I'll just look at the Gopher protocol down here in Gopherpedia, and I'll display it only. And here is the Gopher protocol, and I can make it full screen. This this particular program is also run in real mode, so um, I don't have any extended. Uh, memory with it, so there's no, uh, so so, so you c it doesn't have protected mode, as they say, and I've only got 305,000 uh, bytes left, um, but it's still usable, and uh, can look at, 
you can look how it read about gopher and see how it's stagnation and and that's how you get your and that's all there really is to it um, a, a couple of other funny things they put in here they put in a calculator which is kind of uh, a little funny addition but it works you know the buttons press in I guess they thought that was great back then there's a calendar in it which uh, tells you here we are it's July 2014 and and they even decided to put in a little game in it a little puzzle game where you gotta shift the letters into the correct order I assume it's a little slider puzzle <laughs> I kinda like this little addition to it it gives gives the program a little bit of charm so that's that's Gopher 2 now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go into the next version which is Gopher 3 and I have to change the directory once again I think it's uh, I think it's like that is it? it is okay and and I'll run it and this version um, just to take a look at it is version 1.04 and Daniel or uh, Daniel A. Torrey uh, upgraded his own program and that's all I have about it I guess the gopher team didn't want to be involved in the in the credits but again they still have the puzzle and everything the, um, the other thing that they they upgraded in this in this 1993 version over the 92 version is that um, and let's just go to the greatest hits once again I'm going to go for PD again and one thing they did is that now you can see a little bit of graphical things of the of uh, sort of a splash screen in ASCII so which is quite good and again I'll just look up uh, this time I'll look up Mark Cahill Mark McCahill Mark McCahill Mark P. McCahill uh, American programmer had been involved in developing and publishing a lot a number of internet technologies he was he led the development of the gopher protocol so he's a famous name for gopher um, this uh, so this program although it only runs in real mode is uh, it's great to look at as a throwback uh, I, I find it quite interesting so anyways thanks for this little uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the of the past in Gopher and uh, Gopher is pretty easy to, to uh, log into so I, I it's worth a look to take a look at the Gopher protocol if you're uh, interested in internet history so thanks for watching this little video on Gopher Bye.